So let's learn what is WordPress. Well, WordPress is open source website creation tool that is written in PHP language. And even non-technical guys says that it is one of the easiest platform that they have ever find on internet to create website. And let's see what are the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Well, WordPress.com is self-hosted service that WordPress provide here hosting will be of WordPress and whereas WordPress.org is a software that you can download and use it to any web hosting company. It can be HostGator, it can be Bluehost or it can be SiteGround, whichever you like. WordPress.org has more facilities and feature than WordPress.com. Example, in WordPress.org Org themes are not limited. There are lots of lots of themes. It can be premium or it can be free. In WordPress.org, you will able to find thousands of plugins, free and premium as well. But in WordPress.com, themes and plugins are very limited. Now uh, let's talk about price. Well, WordPress.com is initially free, but if you get any add-on, then it will cost you so much. Whereas WordPress.org can be start in very reasonable price where you will get lot of feature. So let's talk about a bit more. Well, uh, plugins you cannot install on WordPress.com but you can install your own plugins to extend its feature on wordpress.org. Now let's talk about which companies are using WordPress. So there are a few companies that uses WordPress, which are BBC America, Sony Music, Microsoft News, Vogue, Toyota Motors, Harvard Gazette, and even Angry Bird uses WordPress. So there are big companies that are using WordPress. So this is a platform which we can trust. And last but not the least, 30% of all website that exist on internet is created by WordPress. So if we look at number, there are millions of websites that are created with WordPress. So let's learn what we can do with WordPress. So we can create blogs, we can create e-commerce website with the help of WordPress. We can create business website, we can create news website, photography website, music website, and list goes on and on. So we just have to put time and effort to learn WordPress. Hello guys, in this uh, lesson, we are going to talk about domain name and what are the different types of domain names. So. Let's talk about domain name. Well, domain name is website's name. Example we have is google.com. So google.com is domain name of Google. And apple.com is domain name of Apple. So these were the few examples. Now let's talk about what is .com, .edu, .net or .org or it can be dot gov so basically every extension says something but i suggest you to initially go with dot com well because dot com is one of the most famous domain name extension now if you want to go in depth then you can learn about extensions it can be dot org or it can be dot edu. Well, dot edu means 
that a website is for educational purposes. .org means that website can be for non-profits or .gov can mean that this website is for government. So, as I have told you earlier, every extension say something. So, you have to figure out or you have to research about that extension detail. You can simply Google that extension and you will get to know what that extension mean. So, initially I suggest you to go with .com because uh, this is the most famous one and .com here means dot .commercial. Well, every country has a domain name like uh, uh, US has, uh, USA has US.us, India has .in, China has .n. So this is the basic of domain name. I hope you have learned. Thank you. Hello guys, I have some resources for you. You can fetch these resources if you want. So to do that, visit amartripati.com A-M-A-R-T-R-I-P-A-T-H-I dot com and scroll down and from here, click get resources. Now, we are going to need this Elementor page builder. So let's create ID of Elementor page builder. So let's start now. Well, here are two more options for pictures, HD pictures. You can use this website by clicking here and for videos, you can use this website. If you click over here and it will redirect you to pixel.com. Well, this is completely free website that you can use to get pictures and you don't even have to give attribution to the author so this is really good option well i'm not a sponsor or affiliate of these websites now let's go back and create elementor account so we are on resource page and click elementor from here go to my account Click here, create an account. Here, put your email ID and your password. And click here, create account. As you can see, our ID is created. Now, make sure to remember this credential because we are going to need it later. Now on this website, you will get few other stuffs. Click here resource page and here are a few things that you can read. Here I have a test Excel file. And as this option is here at any point of time, if you feel stuck or if you need anyone help, then there are a lot of freelancer out there who can help you out so for that you can create id from here so this much is enough about resource page and even if this doesn't solve your problem then just you can ask me question and i will happy to answer you so now we are going to check domain name and by hosting so now visit amartipati.com and from here you can check what domain you want and see whether it's available or not. So example as you can see this domain name is not available. You can check your domain name and find the relevant domain that is available and you can buy that how to buy i am going to tell you after a while now let's see
as you can see this domain name is available so by this option you can check whether that domain name is available or not once you have got your domain name then you can click this option from here you will able to get hosting well this is an affiliate link so let's click now hello guys as you can see we are on bluehost page and from here we can buy domain name and hosting so as you can see uh, they will provide free domain name for first year free ssl and one click wordpress install and 24 7 support this is the price if you want to go for advanced version then you won't get this price and you you will get here 30 days money back guarantee well, this is a special offer from them just click uh, get started as you can see we have multiple options to buy so if you are going for business purposes then select pro one or choice plus well these both are almost similar but here at the same price you will get side backup plan for free So this is just for tutorial I'm buying. So I'm just selecting basic one. Here I'm selecting my domain name. Here you can choose uh, dot com or dot organization. Well, that is dot org. So I'm choosing dot com. Here we got message that this domain name is available. So let's complete this information. You can buy up to 36 months, but I am buying it just for 12 months. And it's costing me around $71. Here, as you can see, domain registration is free and free SSL. Well, I don't want these add ons, so let's unclick it. If I will need it, I will buy it later on. So now we are going to get on payment section and uh, let's fill our payment details and then after checking this box we can submit as you can see our payment is completed and here we will get receipt now click over here create account As you can see, I have entered my password. Make sure password should be combined with uppercase, lowercase, symbols and numbers. Click on this box and click here, create account. As you can see, we got this message that uh, now our account is ready. Now click here, go to log in. Here enter your password again. And click here login. Now here are a few options that Bluehost is asking. So let's fill it. So it means that what site you want to create. 
So here it's asking what kind of website you want. Let's fill it. Here you are, if you are a doctor or some sort of professional, then click on this. If you have business, then just click here, like local shop or any sort of organization. If you have online store, like e-commerce website or uh, you sell products online, then click on this option. And if you want to create blogs, articles, then you can click on this uh, options. So I'm going to click on business. So example here, I am uh, taking photography. Suppose I have photography business, then let's choose photography over here. If you have uh, online marketing business or architecture business, you can select any of the category whichever you want to create website for. So if you are not able to find any option from here, then you can change from business to professional. So here I have option that is photography. So I have selected photography over here. Here choose who is going to be your audience or who is going to visit website. So I am choosing a client. You can choose any of relevant option for which you want to create website. Then click on continue. And if you don't want to continue anymore, then just click on escape this step. So I am clicking on escape this step. Click on Astra theme. As you can see, Bluehost is installing WordPress over here. So here just click WordPress. So now, as you can see, we are on our WordPress dashboard. Congratulations and uh, you are amazing you came this far now let's learn how we can log in to our wordpress so type domain name slash wp dash admin and press enter here type your username or email address and type your password if you are not able to get your password or you forget your password then just click here lost your password now after putting email id and password just click here login so now we are on our wordpress dashboard now let's delete useless things that are automatically installed on wordpress dashboard so click on pages and first delete these both pages check both or click here to check all click here move to trash now apply so we have deleted both pages and here is trash we can delete our pages from here also guys make sure to free up your website as much as you can so that it can load faster
as you can see i have deleted it from trash also now let's delete unnecessary plugins So here, if a kismet is installed, then uh, make sure to let it be because it helps you to uh, not get scammed. Else, delete this, delete this too. Jetpack. As you can see, we have selected all these plugins which we don't want and press here delete apply so before deleting any plugin make sure to deactivate it first now these plugins are deactivated now we can delete it so as you can see we have deleted our plugins i hope you are also following with me so that you can keep up with me and uh, those who are following along with me congratulations you are progressing now let's delete themes which we don't require so here we have installed astra So let this Astra theme be here and uh, apart from this, let's delete all these plugins. Select the theme which you want to delete and press here delete. I suggest you to delete all the plugins and themes which you don't require or which you don't use. If you need it later, we can download it later. Now, as you can see, we have just one theme left, which we are going to use. Now, let's check this post section. Delete this post too. So, as you can see, we have deleted post, pages, themes and plugins too. So now it's looking clean. If we compare it to before, how it was. So as you can see, our dashboard is looking clean and there is nothing messy over here because we have removed all our plugins. Now let's install theme. So as you can see, Astra is already installed. But if it's not installed in your WordPress dashboard, then click over here and search Astra. 
and from here click install and activate it's already installed in my dashboard so there is no option of install let's activate it and now let's install one plugin click on plugin then click on add new now click here elementor you can type elementor click here install now elementor page builder now click here activate well elementor is very important plugin it helps you to create website easily with just drag and drop For every beginner, Elementor is highly recommended. Before a while, WordPress has introduced Gutenberg and Gutenberg editor is an editor that is not most people are comfortable with. So we are going to install classic editor. So click on plugin, add new. And here as the option is available classic editor so let's install it let's activate it now our classic editor is installed now let's create pages Click add new. Title here, home. From here, we can publish this page. Now we can view this page from here. As you can see, our page is created. Now let's create another page. Let's click on add new. Portfolio. Publish. Now we have created another page. Contact us. Make sure to click on add new. Then we can create another page. And last one about us. So guys, these are the most common pages for any website, which is home, contact us, about us. Now let's see. As you can see, our pages are created. Let me show you one thing. So as you can see, we are on Apple's website and here are multiple pages. 
and let me tell you this all pages are under one menu so one menu contains lot of pages so just to let you know what are pages and menus i have opened this website so you can learn from this now let's go back and our pages is created Guys, let's open about us page first. So as you can see, let's let's make it full width from here. Elementor full width. Now update. Let's refresh it. Now, as you can see, we will get all this area to work. Let's do the same with every pages. Now, as you can see, we have edited it as a full width. So we will get good area to work. In this lesson, we are going to learn how we can customize pages and add pre-made template of pages. But before that, let's make one setting. Go to setting. Click reading. And make uh, this. Our static page, home page as home. This is about when someone clicks your website or visit your website, then they won't go to your post, they will directly come to your home section.
So this is one of the very important setting that we can do. Now click on save changes. Now let's go back to pages. Go to home and click over here, add it with Elementor. I hope you have installed plugin of Elementor. If you haven't installed, then this option will not be appear over here. Now, as you can see, our Elementor plugin is opened and from here we can add it our pages. Well, this uh, plugin looks very simple, but it has a lot of feature. I can't tell you this Elementor is really very crucial for any beginner. So let's see what are the options it has. So here we can uh, drag heading or text editor or buttons, icons, Google Maps, videos or image. So it's very simple. And let's see. Here we can uh, easily add sections to our website. Can be structure. We can use multiple structures easily and uh, this option is really amazing. Here we will get a lot of pre-designed pages. So it will become very easy to build or uh, edit pages instead of creating a page from scratch. This option is really, really, really amazing. For every beginner, this is one of the best thing that Elementor is providing. Here we have blocks. Block simply means that instead of putting all page that has a lot of section, we can just put one section in our page. So as you can see, this is really amazing. List goes on and on. From here, you can uh, save a lot of template or customize it. Suppose we want to insert this template. So click here, insert. As you can see, they are asking to connect uh, with the template library. So let's click on get started. Now from here, we have to log into Elementor. So click here, login. Now let's uncheck uh, this box because we don't want to share our data and click on connect.
as you can see this beautiful page is added in our page we can add this sort of template in every pages in which we like we can add it to portfolio contact us contact any about us and if we uh, click update then this page will get updated and published on our page so i hope this much is enough about uh, explaining about elementor and uh, thank you hello guys now we are going to design our home page so this is going to be exciting and let's start now so click here welcome visit site click here edit with elementor Now let's add one of the pre-made design over here. So click on this. Now select blocks. Click here, header. Sorry, click here, hero. And let's choose this one. So as you can see, this is looking neat and clean. And this is in a very simple format and it's looking really professional. So let's customize this picture as a photographer point of view. So let's change background picture first. I hope you are a photographer, so you must have a good picture of yours. Uh, for now, we are going to get royalty free picture from unsplash.com. If you don't have your own picture, then you can use this website to get one of the royalty free picture for yourself. But I suggest you to have your own picture. As you can see, we are on unsplash.com. Click here, photographer. Now choose your favorite image from here. So this is good, we can use this, let's download it. And let's now upload this uh, picture as a background. So to do that, go to style, make sure to select this block or section and go to style and click here, choose image. And from here, click on upload files and let's select.
Now, as you can see, it's uploaded. Let's change image title. Here you can write your domain name. Click here, insert media. So now, as you can see, this picture is uploaded and it's looking good and professional. And here we can put video. So now here we have option to upload video and uh, well video is very engaging a uh, thing nowadays to engage our audience and get more conversion. So I suggest you to upload your video on YouTube and use that link to put your video over here. So now we are going to uh, put video. So let's add this video to that. Open this bar and click here edit and here just paste the youtube link and change this image to do that click here image overlay and choose image let's upload it Insert media. Well, this is just to create sample. So don't take this uh, video section seriously because in this uh, video, I have just uh, uh, taught you features and uh, those things. So you can uh, here put a video of photography related if you are creating photography website. So now let's uh, change this text section so to do that. Click here and uh, let's write. If you are any organization and if you are uh, creating any company website, then you can use these type of sentences else just click here. Hire me. That's it. And let's make it large. Click on typography and let's make it size large. Here you can put your name. So this hire me is looking good. Well, we can make its size big. Let's add this line height from here. Let us spacing. And now let's change uh, this uh, button, color and design. To edit any uh, section, 
make sure to click on that section after that use these settings so let's change this background now text is not visible so let's change text color so it's good and now or uh, let's uh, change uh, design when someone put their mouse on this button when someone hovers this done now it's okay now let's change its border radius yeah so it's looking good this will give message to any person who is visiting your website to just reach to you directly and here we will link to contact form so that will be easy for any audience now from another structure or another section uh, they can explore about you more so let's add another section Let's click here to add another section. Now let's uh, add testimonial section. So let's find a relevant section or template to put that. Let's search testimonial uh, first check here after that. Here we have option of testimonial so there is no need to search. So Here these designs are very simple but we can animate that so that it will look better. So for now let's, uh, let's add this one. Yeah, this is looking good and uh, from here we can change text so for now there is no need to uh, change text and uh, here we can simply do that let's animate this and before this let's animate this section Select the section that you want to animate and click here advance, click your motion effect and here you can try a lot of options that you like. Here I have used slide in right and slide in left.
let's update it so that I can show you what are its effect. As you can see, it's animated now. Let's animate this too. Here it's not compulsory to use the animation that I'm using. You can find your favorite one from this option. But whatever animation you are using, make sure it doesn't look messy. And if you are confused whether it's good or not, then ask your uh, family or friend. So these boots are animated and uh, let's animate these boots. Let's update it. Let's refresh and see how it's looking. Yeah, so as you can see, how these animation are working now and It's good and let me tell you one more thing if you want to add two or three more testimonial then you can just copy this section and paste it and if you want that to be in same line then what you can do is Copy this and paste. So as you can see, here you can use uh, three testimonial or if you want six testimonial, then you can use, uh, the, you can copy this same box to over here. Let's add now another Let's section. Click here guys if you don't like any section from blocks then you can just uh, upload all page whichever page you like and after that uh, delete the sections that you don't want and leave the sections that you want so let me tell you in practical what you can do is suppose we want this section and we want this section of this website but we don't want this section so just in insert this We are going to insert complete page. 
and as you can see this page is uploaded now what we can do is we can delete this section so this so these are the few section that is left and here we can work it's looking good and you can delete any of the section that you don't require and uh, let this section that you require to be here so make sure uh, your design doesn't get affected because of any page so suppose here may here are two themes of uh, dark color and white color so make sure to combine these section with those colors as you can for example you can uh, use background from black and text from white so it doesn't look like any mature has designed website now let's add it sections we don't want this section also it's not required actually now here uh, let's edit this section here as a photographer you can tell your thoughts and you can quote some line so let's do it yeah this line is good and let's uh, edit it it's looking too messy so go to style go here and as you can see we have reduced its size and here you can tell about yourself or you can remove this line so it's completely up to you so for now I am removing this line and here you can type your name And let's change this picture too. Well, I'm not going to put here my image, but uh, let's put this image over here. And uh, let's change uh, color of uh, these lines so that it can match up with this section.
Uh, now let's see how black color of background looks over here. If it's looking good, then we are going to use black background. Else gray is okay. To change background, click here. Style. Background. Here, here is option color. Yeah, this is good. It's not complete black, but dark grayish. Guys, now let's remove this section also because we don't need it. And after that, we will jump to this and we will represent it as a portfolio. So let's change background. Let's make it white. So it's changed. We have added overlay color to customize it. Now let's change this font. Let's copy this font. And paste it over here. Now delete it. So guys, as you can see, we have option to uh, put our section of portfolio over here, but we have planned to create one separate page for portfolio. So let's remove this. But if you don't want to create another whole page, then you can put portfolio section over here on the home page. So it's up to you. You have two options whether to bring your portfolio section in your so home page we are going to create another create page another so page for portfolio for now, let's delete it and here we can add our detail so before that i'm not liking this image overlay picture so let's change it Guys, I want to suggest you one thing that at times when you design website, then at times you're going to feel that uh, it's not looking good. I have to delete all website and create a new website from scratch again. But I don't suggest you to delete all website, but you can tweak sections. You can remove section, you can remove text and add another text. So this will make your process easy. So now let's change this image over the picture. Click here, this pencil button. Actually it's added. Click here, image overlay. That's under counter content. Image overlay, select this, and you can upload that picture from here. Select it, 
it's uploading now it's uploaded now let's insert it yes it's better than that image yeah it's good actually that image was not looking good because that image has dark filter and same this image have so make sure if a background is dark then on above you can use light text or images and if background is light then you can use dark text or images so here background is dark so i suggest you to use light images and text so i hope you understand well this is very basic of designing so this section is about to complete home section we will edit it now Here you can put your address, email and phone number. If you want to add, it, add two numbers then you can else delete this one. Fine. And here. Let's edit this section. So here type your complete address and this Google map will automatically sync. But make sure your business should be in Google My Business then only it will able to sync now click here update it's updated now and uh, uh, we forget to delete this section so let's delete it update again We can animate these these sections. So let's animate it. Let's animate it and let's animate this too. now updated let's refresh again to see how it looks yeah it's good So this section is completed. Guys, I suggest you to launch your website once your home section is designed and how we can do it. So click on this section and click here launch your website, launch your site. Yeah, 
now our website is live so let's see it hello guys now we are going to design portfolio page so before design that page make sure to do this go to pages click here portfolio and in page attribution make sure elementor full width must be selected after that updated once it's updated then go and visit site now click here portfolio as you can see this is complete fresh page and now we are going to design it so let's click on edit with elementor let's select one of the pre-made design so instead of page we are going to select blocks now scroll down and select this block it's looking really professional now let's customize it click here and stretch section on so it's a stretch now and here make sure content width is full width full width is not looking good on this template so let it be boxed and now let's customize it first change this background color select here go to advance no in style after that select color color yeah let's make it light grayish yeah this is fine let's make it light yeah this is good to go now let's change this picture select on this picture and select your picture that you want to upload and uh, if it's not here then you can upload it from your device for now i'm going to choose one of these so let's select this and here we can give it a title now click here insert media as you can see it's looking good and we have uploaded it 
Now let's customize this section. Here let's write portfolio. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine now. You can uh, customize sex accordingly. I have entered as if we are a photographer company and you can write check out to click my designs or portfolio or my work sample or my clicks or my captures. You can write any. And here you can put your text. I have copied my text. So now I'm going to paste it. Now it's here. Let's change uh, this font. Go to style and in typography we can change it. Yeah, bad script is looking good. Yeah, it's good. Now let's see how it's looking. Yeah, I like it. Now what we can do is we can customize this section also. Let's see how shadow looks. Let's make it black. Minus five blur. Twenty one. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking good. It's good. Uh, you can go with this effect. Now, what we can do is. Let's change a bit of when someone hovers it. To do that, select the image and go to CSS filter and here make brightness low. Yeah, 70 is good. When someone click it, it will look glowy. Let me show you how. Yeah, as you can see, this is good. Now let's update it. Uh, before updating it, let's uh, animate it. Click on this, go to advanced motion effect. Yeah, slide to right, make it slow. Good.
let's delay it for 500 let's uh, do the same effect with this also so let's select this advance motion slide to left and now let's make it slow and make it 500 so as you can see now we can update it and now let's refresh it yeah animation and everything is working when we hover it it looks like right. add another section it's good to do that scroll down and let's add one box of elementor so that box is going to be image carousel i don't know how to pronounce it image carousel and uh, yeah we are going to use this one and uh, to use that we have to add one section so let's select this one and uh, now select this one this this middle one and after that let's select this let's drag and drop very good and after that let's make it full width now select this pencil button and after that we can add our images so select your images Make sure to adjust size of your image before uploading it and even change title so here you can change image 5 image 4 image three four sorry three image two now let's another one mm. let's make it image one Now we have to caption it again. Let's do it. Image one, image two, three, four, five. Six. Now click here, insert gallery. Now it's here. Here we have adjusted four image in one slide. Let's customize it. Medium. Medium is good. Let's 
let's make it custom you can do it according to you, how you like it now let's make a spacing this much is good and uh, let's make border radius 34 yeah that's good and uh, let's change background color That's good. That's good now. Uh, as you can see, when we click here, let's make some adjustment in setting. Click here, click here, and uh, Change this option link to media file. Now when we click it, this will pop up like this. So it's really looking good. Now let's make one more adjustment to animate it. Go motion effect. Choose your favorite one. Yeah. That's good. Let's update it. Now let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's looking fine now. Guys, if you want to add more images, then what you can do is just copy this and paste it same option now you can change colors sorry pictures and if you want even more images then what you can do is copy and paste again as you can see so this will be a good amount of photo whenever you upload photo then compress your photo make sure your photo size uh, shouldn't be very big else what happen is your slide your site will go down and users that are using your site will face problem then that will affect your business so make sure to compress your images as much as possible now i'm not going to use this because we have limited images and after that we can use one more part or section from here so let's see what are the options we have now now we are going to select one block so let's see this is good we can use it. Let's insert it now. Let's adjust its color first. From a style. Go to classic 
and here. Yeah. Now let's change some settings of these pictures. So click this edit button. Go to style. Now let's add border. Go to color black. Very good. Minus six is okay. And let's make blur. Yeah. So let's use same setting in those images. Box shadow. Let's make it black. Now click update. Let's add motion to these. So to do that, select this button again and go to motion effect. And now I'm going to select this one. Yes. Actually we can uh, select all these in this complete section and after that motion effect yeah it's really looking good and let's make same effect on this one Let's add it this too. Great. Now, as you can see, we have animated and edited these images. Now, we are going to change these pictures. To do that, select this and go to content. And from here, you can change image. So if your picture is not updated, then make sure to update it and always observe resolution, what resolution it has so that it can fit in your frame. Let's select this. Now select this one. Go to content. Select this. And now here. And now as you can see we have inserted all these images and now let's add it this text also let it be here and now let's change it Now let's change this font also. Typography. Bad script. Uh, let's make height. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, guys, uh, you can remove this section or if you want to put some text, 
then you can use this text section if you want to add more images just what you can do is copy this section again and paste it and now uh, in this frame you can add a lot more pictures and if you want to add even more picture what you can do is again copy and repeat this option and make sure to remove or change this text when you do it so now let's delete it guys i request you to have patience and keep working and at the end you will get a good looking website that you will be proud of now let's update it so as you can see we have designed our portfolio page and this look good according to me so now let's check it out how it's look when someone else open it select portfolio page and yeah it's looking beautiful and when someone click on this then as you can see that image that image will pop up so this really looks good And guys, if you want to add more images in this section, just copy the blocks and change the pictures. Repeat this process and you will be able to do so. Now, congratulations, you have created your portfolio page. Hello guys, now we are going to design about this page. But before that, I want to tell you one thing. I really do appreciate you because you came so far. So now, let's get started. So click on page. Go to about us. Make sure Elementor full width is selected. And after that, update it. And after that, go and add it with elementor now let's select one design about no there is nothing good i'm able to find over here for now so let's scroll and check what suits yeah this one is good we can use this so let's insert it yeah it's good now let's change the background image 
to do that let's open it select this and after that the style now choose image you can upload any image from here or let's upload it it's uploading now now it's uploaded and click here insert media text is not properly visible so let's adjust brightness background overlay this is good now text is properly visible and now let's change this text So here you can put your name or your company's name. It matters from whom side you are creating website. Now let's add another section. This is decent for top. Now let's add another section. Let's insert this one. Now let's add another section. Yeah, let's insert this one. And let's add another one that is select about use this one insert let's change this position now it's good Guys, this section is uh, specifically designed for company and if you are creating your personal photography website, then what you can do is in about section, just add this. Let me show you in pages, search about. Insert this. Yeah, uh, you don't need to add these these columns. Just add this page, and that's it. And customize it accordingly. This is a really good looking page for personal website. So I suggest you to use this one. But if you are a company, then follow along with me. I really like this template. Here you can change your photo, name and profession, education, whatever you have, what are your skills, your contact details and your references. So let's remove it. And let's customize it. Now let's edit these bars. Click here, pencil button. And here you can adjust. As you can see, let's make it 95%. 
and let's add it this to if you want to edit bar then just use this edit button instead of that don't get confused so let's edit it yeah it's good let's edit background color classic Now let's edit this section. So let's first change background color. Let's make it gradient. That will be mix of two color. So let it be white and let's change it to gray. From here we can change angle and locations. And there is one very good option which is shape divider. You can use this if you want it. Yeah, cloud or pyramid. Here are a lot of options if you want to use it. As you can see so there are so many options which you can use let's make it white let's see how it looks It's good, I think. Now let's customize it. From here, we can change suffix. Click this number suffix in content section. So let's make it plus. And from here, we can change number. Sorry. from here there is one option from where number will start and from where it will end so let's put text first from here you can change title yeah it's good but before uh, edit next section make sure to animate it so let's animate it for every section find appropriate animation and use that
we have animated these update let's refresh the page it's good now let's change a width and see how it looks Let's adjust it more. Now let's adjust this text. It's looking good. Better than before. So we are going to stick with this and here we can put our company story when we started and if you want more space to write text then what you can do is just copy this and paste here you can write as long as you want that's it so And from here, you can change color also. So perfect. It's done. Our about us page is designed. Let's update it. Now let's refresh and see how it looks. It's good. Pretty decent. Hello guys, now we are going to learn how we can create contact form. So let's start. Initially, we are going to install Ninja Form plugin. So let's install it now. Go to plugin, click here add new, now write ninja form, this is the plugin that is by Saturday Drive, now click it, install. As you can see, it's installed now. Now we have to activate it. So let's click on it. Now this Ninja form is appearing on our plugin section. As you can see, this option is new available over here. And if it's not showing on your dashboard, then make sure to refresh your page and it will start showing up. Now let's click here. As you can see, one form is already here. So just copy it, duplicate, click here setting and duplicate it. And let's make it our main contact form. To do that, just click here setting, add it. As you can see, these are the section that are already filled. And if you want to add some section, then what you can do is click this plus button. And here you can use multiple sections. As you can see, here phone number, last name, address, and there are multiple options. You can use it if you want. So for now, I just want name, email, and message. So let's delete it. Click 
click here done to edit this title what you can do is go to advanced display setting and from here you can change form title name so let's write contact us click done click here publish now go to form field again now let's go back to dashboard so as you can see we have this form right now and how we can insert it i'm going to show you now so just copy this short code and go to your website so as you can see i am on contact us page and let's add heading over here so to do that let's add a structure first click here click this column now make sure to select this six dots and now select this now let's drag and drop heading let's paste it make sure to paste your shortcut over here in this title section now it's pasted let's change its alignment so i make it at center now let's update it let's change its background color so that it can be visible because maybe their text is going to be white now let's update again now let's check whether this contact form is working or not to do that we are going to visit site as a visitor and we are going to check whether the contact form is working properly or not i am going to visit my site from incognito mode you can use another browser if you don't have chrome so let's start let's go to contact us page as you can see it's here contact form is here now let's fill our details and see whether it's working or not i have submitted we got message that i have submitted successfully so let's check in our dashboard that whether we have got message or not as you can see i am on dashboard let's click ninja form and now click submission here click the form that you have created on that page on your website's page so it was contact us let's click it so as you can see we have got message so congratulations it's working and if it's not working then make sure to check from setting and general and make sure your email id should be there so i hope you have learned creating a contact form so now we have created contact form now let's create contact page so let's start go to pages all pages click here contact us page or just click here edit with elementor so let's click edit with elementor our contact form is already here so before creating our contact us page 
Now let's change this text color to white. Click here, go to style, typography, sorry, text color and go to white. Perfect. Now update it. Now let's add blocks. Go to this option, this folder option, add a template. Now go to block. Here select category call to action. Here are lots of categories like lots of types of blocks. You can prefer your favorite one but I would like to go with this one. So coincidentally this picture also has a photography background so I'm not going to change it but if you want then you can change picture but let's change text so let's start as you can see we have edited this section now what we can do is we can add another block so let's start click click on this button again let's change category in block section that's contact This one is good. Map is there. Social media icon also there. So let's insert this one. Let's take this contact form to the bottom. And let's uh, add background picture on this section click six dots and go to style in background section go to classic and let's insert picture i have already uploaded the picture over here i'm going to insert it and if you haven't uploaded then what you can do is from here you can upload it now let's change its settings I'm making position to the center repeat no repeat size cover so it's okay. And we will check it later how it look. For now, let's change the map. I've told you earlier that if you want to mention your business on map over here on website, so make sure your business must be created on Google My Business. I don't have my business page because this is just a demo website but you can type and map will sync according to your location. So for now I am just changing its location. And from here we can adjust it. And we can adjust its height also. So let it let it be this much. It's good now. From here we can mention some text. Let's 
let's uh, change its typography guys from here you can mention your company name and from here you can put your social media links so suppose if you want to put facebook link then just click here and over here you can change icon or you can put your facebook link and if you don't want any of this icon then just click here now again let's click update and let's see how our contact page looks it's looking good simple we can animate this page so let's start it I'm going to animate this one first, this both. Now let's animate these both. edit our I mean let's animate our contact form so I want this yeah it's good now let's update it and check how it looks let's refresh it now it's good so I hope you guys have created your contact page and uh, you can try and experiment different things and see what suits your website best and you can use multiple images multiple templates so I hope you will have fun while creating your website thank you now we are going to customize header and footer so let's ready and be excited go to customize click on header transparent header and let's enable this option and now this white bar is going to be removed and our header is going to be transparent so as you can see we are not able to see this uh, menu so we have to customize its color so now let's customize this is normal and when someone hovers it then change its color yeah when someone hovers it it's going to be a bit dark as you can see this is background color if you want then you can use it but I don't prefer it let's change 
over color again. Yeah, it's good. Now let's check how it's look on another pages. This is good. This is decent and it's visible also. This is also visible. It's good. It's visible to all pages. These color are okay and we can use it as a menu. Now guys here you can change logo and from here you can uh, use site icon. So from here this picture is going to be changed if you will put site icon over here. Here a lot of options you can play with. Site title here you can write your website name. Now here you can change its size. Now this is tagline. As you can see, tagline is there. As you can see. So let's change tagline. I have just wrote this. Now as you can see, if you click here, then site title is going to be, I mean that tagline is going to be here, but if we uncheck it, then it won't be. So it will be removed. Now from here, if we go to transparent header and here go to site title, then you can change its color to, so let's make it this and then someone hovers it, then its color is going to slightly different. Let's check these colors on other pages. It's good to go. So now let's publish. And guys, here are few other options uh, like border size, bottom colors. And here are different options you can use. Here are option to customize primary menu so you can use so I'm going to leave it and I want to be it as simple as possible so now I'm going to publish it so guys it's published now now let's customize footer section as you can see here we have different design as you can see this and this text is going to be in middle so I am leaving it like this and uh, here we can change texts so copyright and current year let it be and here it's going to be your site title as you can see from here and now let's change this powered by astra wordpress theme we don't want that 
So As you can see, I have changed this text and what else we can do is we can add another section if we want, as you can see. Now here are two sections, but uh, I don't want to use another section. So let's make it none. So this much is enough about customizing footer and header. So let's publish it now. So as you can see, it's customized. Hello guys, before starting this lesson, I want to tell you that sometimes plugin may can create problems in your website. So if any problem happens with your website, then try to figure out the plugin that is creating problem or a plugin that you have installed lastly before that problem happens and remove that plugin. So now we have to customize this button we have to change the text of this button and create link add link to this button so that if anyone clicks this button then he will redirect to our contact us page so to do that let's copy the contact us page link first so Now click on contact us and now let's copy this. I have copied. Now let's click edit with Elementor. Click this button and now paste the link. Now let's change this text from here. Now let's change this to Now let's add some effects to this button Select this button And here is option text shadow Now text has shadow. Now from this option, we can add box shadow. So this option is under style. So click here. I want box shadow to be white.
yes it's okay now let's update it hello guys i really congratulate you because you have completed this course and this is a bonus video from my side so let's start now well uh, i have few things to tell but before that i want to tell you about elementor pro so if you are a professional then you must go with elementor pro or if you are creating website for business purposes here is the prices initially if you don't have budget then you just go with basic one for one website and if you are good to go then you can go this one or for this one you are going to get 1000 sites so if you are going to become professional freelancer then this package is best and here you are going to get lots of templates and lots of blog that we have used earlier and uh, here lots of widget are going to be there as you can see here WooCommerce well WooCommerce is plugin to create e-commerce websites so they are going to provide lots of elements for that also and uh, as you can see there are going to be lots of pop-ups and there are so much thing in Elementor Pro as you can see here are the add-ons so I strongly suggest you to go with Elementor Pro and if you want to go with Elementor Pro then you can sign up from here visit amartipati.com and go to resource page and click here Elementor page builder well this is a affiliate link and it will redirect to you to Elementor page builder and now let's come to other part what if you can't afford Elementor Pro? Well, I have good news for you too. So go to your WordPress dashboard and click here plugin. And over here, click here add new. And search Elementor add on. So first install this this plugin by WebTech Street and after that install this one by WP Developer. So let's install this first. Now let's install this. Now go back to plugin section, install plugin. And from here, let's activate this both. Apply. Now this is asking. So let's click here. Click here skip and over click here save changes. Now this option is clickable. Yeah, now go back to your website. Let's click here, add it with the elementor. So guys, as you can see, here are a lot of add-on. This add-on you can use. Well, if you compare with Elementor Pro, then it's not this much, but you will get a lot of for free.
you can play it and figure out what suits and what you can use for your website and what not and guys let's check one more plugin so go back to plugin section add new here search elements kit let's install this one by WPMET let's activate it now as you can see here is the option so let's click here if it's not there then you can refresh page now over here click my templates and click here add new so here fill these sections and activation on and now click here edit content so guys this plugin is going to provide you a lot of options as you can see click over here and here you can see lots of pre-made template for free so you can use this if you like and uh, let's insert one as you can see it's here so here are a few templates and blocks that you can use well it's not uh, as much as Elementor Pro is providing but but it's good enough for people who can't buy Elementor Pro so I just want to help them so I hope guys you have learned a lot of things in my course and thank you so much for your participation and thank you so much I appreciate your effort and I hope this will bring enormous amount of value in your skills and in your life too so create amazing websites show it to your friends show it to your clients and have fun doing that all the very best